that one. Oh! oh the Ray Hook! Down and that's Yusuf. it, Sadiq got him! Oh, but he just nearly out! Super Sadiq has arrived! Wow. Counter right hook got him. Beautiful counter. Wow. A lot of people won money on this guy at the Contender Series after he was handed the underdog role and came good against the highly touted Mike Davis, winning each round and picking up a contract in a really exciting fight that has got a lot of people tipping him for future success. Yusuf in the green camo, Moktarian in the grey. The Australian top team for Moktarian. And then Yusuf has oh. a super... Sadiq squad back in Nigeria where he sends money back to these guys are throwing down Dan. Oh, oh that's good that's Yusuf coming forward, huge rips to the body. Oh, these are big shots coming Montarian's through. Montarian's coming up, but that's wow. it. Super Sadiq gets it done in one. You can see here, Suman Moktarian for me just stood in the pocket for a little too long. He took a couple of those shots as he tried to circle off. He smiled, then he dug his heels in, stuck his ground, and then he took several shots. Looked like he was hurt, rocked and went back against the fence. Now he's still looking at his opponent here. He's covering, I mean, he's taking big body shots, but he's still opting to cover his head. Now, whether that's intelligent defense or not, I'm not sure. There's definitely a debate there. It's been about a year since Nigeria, Sadiq Youssef burst onto the scene on Dana White's Contender Series. And he has made the most of every opportunity that has presented itself since. Headed into his third UFC bout, he's used this platform to share his family's story. And yesterday he reported to me that he, his mother, and his brother are all close to becoming U.S. citizens. Tonight, as he makes his way to the Octagon, he hopes to have a breakout performance, continuing to change his life and the lives of his family. First. Sadiq Youssef in the green, Gabriel Moglu Benitez, the southpaw Ooh. black. Oh, they're trading right off the bat. Wow. Sadiq is throwing bombs. Oh, oh my goodness. It's like he cut him. And he's walking him down. Look at this. Just a little bit of head movement and walking him down. Nice inside leg kick by Moglu. It's one of those hard kicks they were talking about. He doesn't show them, Joe. It's like his everything stays stationary. He doesn't show anything that's firing. It just comes down the middle like a laser. That one. Oh! oh! Ray Hook! Down and that's it! Sadiq got him! Oh, but he just nearly out! Super Sadiq has arrived! Wow. Counter right hook got him. Beautiful counter. Wow. Wow. What? Just ate one and counted on his power and landed. Wow. And after he was rocked earlier in the round, which makes it even more impressive. Fighting out of Maryland by way of Lagos, Nigeria, enters Super Sadiq Youssef, who became a U.S. citizen in 2019. Seventh UFC appearance for him here tonight. And Paulie, when Youssef is on, he looks like one of the best featherweights in the world. Certainly, he was disappointed the Chikadze fight went away. It's been a trying few weeks in terms of cutting weight, looking for an opponent. Don Shanus in his crosshairs tonight. Shanus in blue, Yusuf in green. Ooh, nasty knee already, right through. Man. Lots of body work here for Sadiq. There's the car crash, we knew it was coming. There's that front choke. Wow. There's that guillotine. It's, that's oh, that's in. pretty tight, it, guys. It's in, guys, that's it. There he goes in 30 seconds. Sadiq Youssef submits Don Shanus. That front choke is next level, and that's what I was talking about. And that is how you do it. Sadiq Youssef needed to perform, and perform he did. Barely broke a sweat. I'm not even sure he sweat.